everyone. I'm Jess, and I'm the content manager here at Course Report. At Course Report, you can research the best coding boot camps all over the world, find out which coding languages you should learn, where to apply, and how to fund your very own coding boot camp experience. Today, I'm so happy to have Parth Shah joining us. Parth is the new president of Learning Fuse, which is a boot camp in Southern California that teaches remotely and has an in person classroom in Irvine, California. But Parth has also been teaching folks to code at other boot camps since 2016. So he's really the perfect person to talk about um, landing a tech job in Southern California this year in 2023. So thanks so much for taking the time to chat with me today, Parth. And you are actually joining us from the Learning Fuse campus, which is really cool. So before we dive into, into talking about tech jobs. I'd love if you could tell us a little bit about the classroom or the area on the campus that you're in right now. Of course. So it's around 9 a.m. So class is actually just starting. So students should be walking through the door and getting set up. So let me go ahead and take you around. So students usually come up this set of stairs and then we enter the classroom. And it looks like they just started. So this is our junior side classroom right now. Um, and they're not going to disturb them. They're just learning stuff. And then um, after you do your first seven weeks in the junior side, then you kind of walk over to the senior side. And then we have a senior side classroom kind of starting a little bit. It's a bit more sparse. People are getting a little later today, um, but they're starting to uh, learn as, as well over there. Um, and then and those are kind of our two main classrooms. And then we have like our kitchen for our students. And then this space I really love. We kind of have like our student lounge area where our students always gather in here for lunch and stuff. And then we always like play like video games and stuff at lunch with them. Um, so it's always like a really like collaborative, like in-person experience. Everyone's always having a good time. Um, yeah. I love that. That's so cool. So this is really what you can expect to see when you are an in-person student at Learning Fuse. Absolutely. All right. So let's switch gears and talk about tech jobs in SoCal. So part what are actually the main cities that we're talking about when we say Southern California? Absolutely. So Southern California is obviously a very broad region. It's bigger than most states in America. So we talk about Southern California, I really think it's like LA and down. So when you think about LA, the entire of Los Angeles County, that includes North LA, I think like Arcadia, Pasadena, then we have like downtown Los Angeles. And as you get more south to like Long Beach and Orange County, where we're located, there's a lot of stuff there. So Irvine, for instance, a very big tech hub. We have a lot of tech companies down here. Uh, Costa Mesa, we have Laguna Hills, we have the city of Orange itself, Newport Beach. And then as you get more south, you'll see a lot of tech jobs are really picking up in like San Diego as well. So it's really from that North LA all the way down to San Diego is what we're talking about when we say Southern California. Um, Learning Fuse, however, is really focused in like the Orange County, LA County area. So a lot of our students are getting jobs around here. Mm. So if we're thinking at like a really high level, like how do you actually land a tech job in Southern California, yeah. especially if it's your very first tech job? Absolutely. So I tell this to students all the time, it is a pure numbers game. So first, obviously, you need to be good enough. Like there is no BSing when it comes to landing a tech job. The technical interview is designed such that like it makes sure like you're actually good enough for the job. So first is actually really being honest with yourself, like, okay, am I good enough for the job? And then like, if you like graduate from a great boot camp, such like learning views or other boot camps, or you go through like some university, you'll likely have the skills that you need to actually do the job. Then it's actually getting the job. And that's the tough part. So I tell students it's a pure your numbers game. The funnel I like to describe is 100, applying to 100 jobs. You should be sending alongside 60 cold emails to like recruiters or engineering managers. That should convert to about 10 people reaching back out to you, which converts to around five interviews, which should convert to around two to three job offers. Um, so that is like the funnel I'm seeing right now. And based on the economy, either do a little less or a little more. I remember when I was flying, applying for my first tech job, I applied for 200 jobs. Um, and I and like I got like around five interviews and I got one offer. Um, and that was like the state of the market then. And like now we're seeing, we're actually seeing a bit more like tech hiring um, post COVID. So we're able to kind of like see people apply to more and more jobs, which is really, really awesome. But I think a lot of students I see like get really discouraged where I am like, hey, how many jobs have you applied to? And they'll be like eight. I'm like, well, that's simply not enough. We need to apply to a lot more jobs. And the other thing is like just sending in the application and alone is not enough. You need to you need to find the hiring manager. You need to find the recruiter. You need to connect with them on LinkedIn. You need to send an email, really advocating for yourself. I remember when I was hiring engineers, I was like, there were so many people that applied going through all those recipes took a long time. But when someone emailed me, they instantly came to the top of the list. Um, and I was able to, I would like look through them and I would respond if they were like a good fit or not. 
That's such a great tip. I love that. Um, being more personal with your application. Um, so Southern California these days, is it mostly the large tech companies or is it still home to startups and companies from other industries? Yeah. So it's, you see it like a wide range. So you'll see some like big tech companies um, like QSE um, and then uh, also like Google and stuff have campuses down here as well. We also see a lot of like media or else like a lot of like video game companies like Blizzard Entertainment is down here as well. Um, but you also see like some small to medium sized company like Loke, uh, like in a lot of other companies where our students tend to gravitate to. So there's obviously a wide range of choices that you can go to when you graduate from a boot camp. Um, I actually like to gear students towards small to medium sized companies. The reason being is you can do a lot more at those companies when you're an engineer and therefore it's actually easy to progress your career. So like the rate of what you're learning is a lot more at a small to medium sized company because you can take on bigger projects. Um, so the line I like to say a lot is like at Learning Fuse, I'm not trying to get you your dream job. I'm trying to build your dream career. And that means like it's a series of steps to really get there. That means really how do we get to that first level job? Okay. And then after two years, okay, how do we actually change jobs to get you, if you're starting out like an 80, 90K junior developer role, how do we actually get to a 120, 130K? From 120 to 130K, how do we get to to 180K? So at Learning Fuse, what's really great is the career services are actually lifelong. So we have students come back to us all the time uh, that after their first job, like, hey, Parth, I'm actually like ready to get my second job. Uh, or can we like, can we go through the whole resume and like the job search process again? Like, absolutely. Because like, this is really a lifelong journey. We're trying to really build your entire career. Mm -hmm. And does Learning Fuse have any hiring partners or connections to the local, like Southern California um, employment yeah. scene? Yeah. Absolutely. So we have, we have like, so like we really are based in Orange County. So we have a lot of Orange County hiring partners, a lot of LA County hiring partners. So oftentimes, so at the end of our boot camp, we have this thing called Demo Day where students get to showcase their final projects and we invite Orange County, and LA County hiring partners to those. And we've seen offers literally go out at Demo Day. They like, they're like, oh, wow, I really like your project. I want to hire you. Um, and like, we've like seen some of that actually stuff go on. So, and then or their hiring partners always reaching out to us first before even putting a job link out. Like, hey, uh, just, do you have any like learning these graduates that would be good for this role? And we're like, yes, absolutely. And so sometimes the job posting doesn't even go out because they're reaching out directly to us. That's awesome. Um, what do you find that employers in Southern California are looking for in their new tech hires? Yeah, absolutely. So it's someone who can really contribute right away. Um, so obviously a junior developer is an investment. Like you're really investing like, okay, are, are they going to really help grow with the company? That being said, you need to be really get up there and like go out, get, get, get started running. Like as soon as you to hop in. So that means like, okay, if you're like diving into this really like intense code base and you have to like go through like all these different files and see like, Hey, what are people using? You need to have that willingness to like learn and really willingness to dive in. Uh, you want to be contributing as fast as possible, not taking the slow way out. Um, and so especially like what we do here at Learning Fuse is like we have students always work in that de same developer environment that is used in the industry. So every single code or every single project that a student completes has to be reviewed on GitHub and the instructors are constantly reviewing pull requests and, and like having you and giving intense comments before you merge it into your final project. Um, that's the same way things work in industry. You have to get your code reviewed by a peer uh, or by someone senior that then like merges to the final project. So we want to make sure students are used to that development cycle so that when they're actually in the job, they're able to do that, follow that same development cycle to a T. Do you feel like there's a certain type of person or certain traits that do really well in the Southern California tech scene just because it's such a competitive scene? Yeah, I really think it's it's like your ability, your willingness to learn and your communication. Uh, absolutely. So like most people have like baseline technical skills uh, when they graduate a boot camp. Um, and obviously some people are more advanced than others, but it's really, okay, how do I actually, because the great thing about being a developer, it's a lifelong learning experience. When I started learning how to code, the languages have completely changed to what people are using nowadays. And you have to constantly be willing to learn. So you might jump into a code base that they, they're using languages you haven't used before, but that's totally okay because you have the basic fundamentals of programming. You should be able to pick up the new languages. For instance, if you learned React in your bootcamp and your company's using Angular, you should be able to pick up Angular really easily because you have strong fundamentals. Um, and that's what like, companies are really looking for to see like, hey, can I be like switching back and forth? Um, the second is like really communication, right? Where it's like, especially where companies are becoming more remote or more hybrid, that's where communication becomes more important. You can't just like turn to your buddy at work and be like, hey, like, can you help me with this? You have to really advocate and be like, hey, here's what I'm focused, working on right now. Here's like the issues that I'm running into. Here's what I've tried. Can anyone help me with this or hop on a Zoom to help me pair program with this? So we, we, we 
fundamentally teach those communication skills at learning fuse and they're like they're trained to like kind of opt into that kind of environment do you feel like southern california is a good place for career changers and those new to tech or like should you have some kind of experience before even attempting to apply to jobs in southern california no not necessarily i mean so we see a lot of junior developer roles out here in southern california um and especially like, yeah, both big, big companies, medium companies and small companies. And uh, so, yeah, like we're, we're not seeing really that even in this economy where our placement rate hasn't changed uh, pre and post COVID where we're still seeing a 90% placement rate for our graduates for junior developer roles in the Southern California area. That's amazing. Um, SoCal is, it's such a desirable area to work and to live in for technologists yeah. these days. Um, do you think it helps your odds if you already live in the area or you attended like a SoCal based coding bootcamp, like learning fees? Yeah, I would say so. Uh, the reason being is like, I think while there's a lot of companies that are remote, many companies here are hybrid. Um, so they like want you to be in office, like some of the days, um, or like, it's, it's also like, I also really recommend for junior developers to go into office some of the days, because really in your early career, it's about networking, building those relationships with people. Mm -hmm. So that like, when you get to your second and third and fourth job, it's, you shouldn't even really be applying. People should be like, Hey, where's my friend work? I want to go work there. And you're automatically referred in. I it's like, I really, after my first couple of jobs, I haven't, I haven't built a resume because everything's been through connections from that, wow. then on out, uh, which has been pretty awesome. And then specifically for like learning views, like, like I said earlier, we have these Orange County, LA County hiring partners that makes the process a lot easier. We know exactly what these companies are looking for. These companies tell us directly what they're looking for so that we can train it and put it into our boot camp curriculum. And do the in-person Learning Fuse students have opportunities to interact with local companies? It sounds like they do with the demo day. Um, yeah, absolutely. So there's demo day is just one of the examples. So we have a career services manager here, Andriana, who always is like posting networking events specific to Orange County and LA County and is going there, is bringing students there uh, to like network with different hiring managers. And we've seen people get jobs from those networking events. We've seen people ask people like to connect them to a friend that have gotten jobs from those networking events. So that's also a really big advantage of being here at Learning Fuse. Like we are very plugged into the LA Orange County tech scene and we're I mean, our, our amazing career services manager is always like posting different networking events, is always attending different networking events with students, will encourage alumni to come in, et cetera. Um, and for those in-person Learning Fuse students or even the ones who are taking it remotely, um, are they doing it to to land a job in Southern California? Do you find that that's where they're ending up? Yeah, mostly, yes. A lot of people want to stay in Orange County, LA County, um, because that's where they grew up. A lot of their families here. Uh, that being said, we also have a lot of students that like want to move and they like want to, or like, like, so we've had students like trying to get jobs in San Francisco, New York, Miami. Uh, we will really help you for wherever you want to go. Or if you want to like be at home and do a remote job, like we've, we've really helped that broad set of experiences. Yes, the majority of us is really focused in the LA, Orange County area. But that being said, we help students kind of get jobs all across the nation, especially for our remote students. Um, we're, we really help them land those remote jobs. So it's no secret 2023 has been a bit of a turbulent year to say the least for tech hiring. Um, Absolutely. Have you seen this disrupt the local SoCal like hiring scene at all? Um, at big companies, yes. At small to medium sized companies, not really. Um, the reason I say that is a lot of these like big venture backed companies, um, when you're a venture backed and you're, you're at that stage, you're hiring for what you need in 10 years, not what you need for the, like, the next year. So when an economic recession happens, they're like, okay, we actually have too many people for what we need right now. Versus small to medium companies really hire for what they need for in this next year. Um, and therefore, it's like, okay, we're actually not seeing layoffs at the same pace that you're seeing at these big companies. Hmm. You're also, you're actually seeing job growth in a lot of these medium, small to medium companies. And exactly why our placement rate hasn't really changed. We're still seeing very successful placement, um, even in 2023. Oh, that's so good to know. Um, and do you have any tips for those who are like currently on the job search in Southern California about how to stand out in such a competitive talent pool? So in order to stand out, really everything matters. So that means you... Because like there's a lot of junior developers out there, but to really stand out, like every single part of your process matters. Your resume needs to be great. Your portfolio needs to be excellent. You need to have a really strong cold email. You need to have gone through some practice interviews. You need to be the best one in that hiring process. There's no like hacky way around it. That being said, at Learning Fuse, we train you to be the best. We are like, we make sure you do not graduate unless you have a very complete por portfolio with great projects, an improved resume by me, um, as you've gone through technical interviews with me, um, and you will have like gone through the entire experience. Um, so we really make sure that you are at the top of that talent pool before you even are applying for jobs. Um, so really, yeah, every single part of you matters and you need to be like, you need to be one of the best and we're going to help you become that.
Well, that's the perfect place to wrap up this Q&A. Thank you so much for talking with me today, Parth, and sharing all your insights about the Southern California tech hiring scene. Um, and thank you so much to all of you for watching. We're going to be posting a transcript of this video interview on the Course Report blog with contact information for Learning Fuse, just in case you're inspired to apply for any of their upcoming in-person or their online cohorts. And in the meantime, you can follow Course Report on Facebook and Twitter. And if you're a bootcamp alum, don't forget to post a review of your coding bootcamp experience on Course Report. Your review is a huge help to anyone who's thinking of getting into tech today. Thank you.